Yeah, I'm really upset because my recording went away. So you're not going to possibly get my best, and I apologize. Um, Married to Medicine, season 10, episode one. Again, I really, really like this show. And um, I am a Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Jackie kind of gal. Um, they are at Phaedra's The Vault, and she's co-owner. I don't like Phaedra. I never liked Phaedra on any of her shows. I think she is a liar. Dr. Heavenly calls her out like a is. She's a liar. Dr. Jackie said calls, and I wrote this quote down witty and slick like oil on a wet highway i told you all you need to know about the chick um and she has a boyfriend who's nigerian pediatrician or heart surgeon she says she loved a heart surgeon but i think he's a pediatrician who is not pictured so that seems very skeptical of me quad ain't talking about there are nobody after this reunion that's fair Simone and hubby were supposed to be doing a a book about a relationship and like nobody wants it and it was tearing them apart so the fact that they had to listen to Amarosa is like wow um anyway Eugene and Toya comes over and they talk about how they had experienced marriage difficulties last year which I think is fair yeah um like I said last season I would never talk about my the size of my husband's nether regions so whatever um love but I do love how they lean on Simone and Cecil to help with their marriage and everybody is open to helping with their marriage Dr. G they're talk the four of them are talking about Dr. G. Some of them think that he should be afraid to get married again because of after what happened with Quad. Some think try again. Cecil says that he leveled up, man, sir. No, no. She looks like an unattractive Toya with the flattest behind. And she's a gold digger and the thing is just because you're in a relationship I don't know just because you have a job doesn't mean that you are not not a gold digger you have a job she has a job but marrying him sliding into his dms putting a little baby there and dr heavenly was like look she is having she can't even get pregnant which i think is even horrible because you misled the boy you misled the man he wants a kid he looks old as hell and she comes in talk, slitting, signing in dms with the baby emoji i can give you what you want and you can't no shade just you can't so now you're going to specialist which caused that whole little argument and what a what, what a horrible way to have a bachelorette party we arguing about your nether regions because you can't get a baby now i do agree with dr heavenly even though simone's like i guarantee i i sent her out to a specialist but simone is jealous over dr heavenly dr heavenly has been able to use this platform to launch her into the stratosphere and I do think that Dr. Jackie is quite knowledgeable in to get this girl pregnant. And she does have a surrogacy. So if she couldn't get pregnant, then some then Dr. Jackie would have introduced her to a surrogate so that she could have a baby. But we're going to do what it do. They have this whole little argument, which was kind of a weird argument. Um, an inappropriate argument but then again we all in appropriateness um, it's a hoedown you are bachelorette is titled hoedown which Emily is like that seems inappropriate um, I love Jackie Shade she's like well I did he brought her around and I was like so are we babysitting And when they're on their way to get a marriage license, she's like, well, I knew I wanted to marry you since the first day I met you, sir, ma'am. Sir, if you don't drop her off at the nearest bus stop, 
the fact I mean, there's so many red flags that she's marrying you for your money. It's so inappropriate. Oh. I don't feel bad, but I also do not like mm -hmm. watching anybody take advantage of somebody else. Um, but she absolutely wants the money. And then when they ask her specifically, what are you looking forward to the most? Access to the money. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. You may think that, but you should be like, you could have easily said being called Mrs. Dr. G. People would have been like, oh, but for you to say the money, because I walked in here, I was like, this is nice. Girl, everybody in there is like, oh, she's one of those. Right. He better have a prenup. Anyway. Because he's still living in the house that Quad was living in, so you might as well just recycle, reduce, and reuse. Uh, uh, Heavenly and her daughter went shopping for a dress. I thought that was cute. She's like, cover up to here and down to here. Clearly, that didn't happen. She's trying to force this girl to stay in the state of Cali uh, stay in the state of Georgia and go to Spelman. Um, I believe that, you, I mean, first of all, Atlanta is not that far away from FAMU. Like it's, you could get in a car and drive there. I mean, you could fly, but you can still get in a car and drive there it'll be some hours it's not down the street but if you need to get to her in a quick you can get to her I find that very ridiculous that you're going to strap her into the notion that she has to stay in the state of California a uh, state in uh, Georgia there are options I am a firm believer that children should go as far away and have as many experiences as they want before they have responsibility, major responsibility. Um, and Eugene has more stamina. And they were trying to get him to be like, well, because you can hang out with your kids more. He's like, yeah, I can have sex without cramping. You know, they say way too much about their sex life that I... <laughs> that I would ever put on national television. That being said, I am definitely going to upload this. And I'm sorry, I lost it. Um, but, you know, it, it worked out to God's plan. Maybe there's some things in there that I shouldn't have said that should have been out on these internet streets. You know, I, I included at the time some of my other stories of my own life to kind of equate to this. But um, I'm sure it'll come up in some other some other uh, review. So have a great rest of your night.